Few things rob your profit in an egg enterprise faster than dirty eggs, broken eggs. Those are the profit robbers in an egg enterprise. I mean, the, the absolute first thing you, you can do to eliminate broken and dirty eggs is to have a, um, a strong eggshell. And I think it's a lot easier to have a strong eggshell with a bird that lays a fewer, a little bit fewer eggs a year than one that's, you know, uh, that one of these hybrids that's geared to highest egg production. Um, you know, these, are, these are hard to quantify nuances of difference, but just think about it a minute. If, if you have a hybrid chicken that eats a little less feed and lays an additional 30 eggs a year, but those 30 eggs get broken and b because, the egg, because the shells are thinner, because she's laying so much and has a smaller body size, you know, all those, all those elements, and then those eggs break next to them and now their neighbors get eaten and now you have uh, you develop bad habits of egg eaters what are called egg eaters you know those are just roguish chickens that get a diet for eggs okay they're called egg eaters um, it, it doesn't take very long to chip away at the alleged advantages of this very high production uh, commercial chicken is what I'm getting at and I, I don't think people actually uh, put those kinds of things in perspective all that to say that the, the shell is the key, the, the, the strong shell is the key, and that's calcium. So the first thing you can do is feed free choice oyster shells, some sort of calcium supplement. We don't put it in the feed, we feed it separate to it in, a, in what's called cafeteria style, free choice, so the chickens can go eat it when they need it and they don't when they don't. So they know you know, the beautiful thing about animals is they don't watch TV, they don't watch advertising, so they actually have an intuitive understanding of, oh, this, this is what I need. You know, they're not, they're not buying things because a celebrity told them to buy it, you know. So the chicken uh, knows what she needs to eat, and so when she needs calcium, she eats oyster shells. So keep free choice oyster shells in there for the birds to eat. That's number one. Next is the nest boxes are mounted too low. We talked about that in the previous lesson. I just reiterated here, the low nest boxes are the, the, the avenue into the loitering and the bullying and the dirty eggs. Next problem with broken and dirty eggs is, is dirty nest boxes. Nest boxes that have manure in them. Nest boxes that don't have enough, uh, don't have enough bedding in them, okay? They're, they're soiled. Um, you know, if there, if there is a broken egg in there, you always want to take it right out, uh, clean it out, and put fresh bedding in right then. You know, don't leave it. Don't just put fresh bedding in on top of a, of a broken egg in there. It, it just gets nasty and junky, and that's where mites and all sorts of problems come. So keep your nest boxes nice and clean and bright. Keep, them, keep uh, plenty of bedding in there. As soon as it gets soiled and messed up, you know, clean it out. The, the next option is this veil, this covering veil to darken down, reduce loitering, darken that nest box down. They'll push through it. Don't worry about that. The next element is the distance to the nest box from, from the ground or from garbage. So, you know, uh, I really encourage people to feed, to, to develop a food scrap salvage type uh, thing. You can really reduce a lot of feed costs, especially if it has a lot of protein, either dairy or meat or something uh, in, in that food scrap. But those tend to be kind of juicy and gunky, and and so uh, if you're if you're um, feeding those kinds of things, and, th and of course the chickens are on the ground, uh, and especially like the eggmobile where they're scratching through the the cow pies, um, it makes a big difference. And then finally, in the feed, you want to add uh, a limestone or azomite in the ration to make sure that they've got plenty of, of calcium. I'm not gonna go through a bunch of ration stuff. You can find a ton of rations. Uh, we, we recommend using you know, the ration from Fertrell uh, in, in Pennsylvania. That's, that's who formulates all of our rations for us. And, um, and, and, and that will always have some uh, feed, what's called feeding lime, uh, high calcium in the ration. Your number one uh, protection for having broken and dirty eggs is a nice thick shell that you can helpfully get from having a, a dual purpose, you know, a non uh, hyped up uh, production bird, have it a little bit uh, bigger bodied and a little uh, a fewer eggs in a year. Free choice oyster shells, the positioning, the nest boxes, the maintenance of those nest boxes, 
and then the distance to the nest box, a limestone or you know a, some sort of calcium supplement in the ration. So at the end of the day, you're not frustrated and have your uh, profit robbed by having broken and dirty eggs. Thank you.